Okay folks, things are starting to uh, come together here. Day two on the uh, rust removal. What I've got left for the most part is just this upper pulley here that resides on the shaft or spindle here of the tuning condenser. Um, still a little bit more rust there to uh, break loose. And uh, what I did was take all the uh, hardware. You can see how nice and uh, clean it looks now. Still a few uh, places there. And uh, just taking my uh, synthetic uh, pad here that we talked about in the previous video and uh, just going over it and doing a nice uh, clean to get all the uh, chalky residue off after of course giving us a nice rinse in uh, fresh cold tap water same thing here for this uh, assembly you can see how much better it looks now uh, really cleaned up well uh, it needs to be uh, lubed in here to free this up a little more and then lastly the uh, tuning condenser Still not where I want it to be, but uh, I think you can see here is starting to uh, really come together and look much better. Same process here, just using a little bit of the uh, synthetic pad after washing this down in water. Now what I'm going to do next is run this through the uh, ultrasonic cleaner, because I've still got some grime back here on the back side. Uh, where I can't get to, and uh, I just want to get that cleaned up really well. So I've got the ultrasonic uh, cleaner out here and uh, I'll be using just a little bit of trisodium phosphate. And when that comes out, probably three or four cycles, I'll go uh, rinse the uh, tuning condenser again in cold water. I'm just wrapping up here on the uh, fourth cycle. Alright, I got the uh, bigger pieces taken care of today as far as the uh, completion of the rust removal as well as uh, the uh, rust inhibitor. I've still got all my uh, hardware here to do a little fine tuning on and uh, some of these bolts here for the transformer I'll uh, place new ones in there and I'll do the uh, same thing. I'll be spritzing these, drying them. But, uh, here's the uh, finished uh, parts now. And you'll see they don't uh, shine quite as much as they did. And uh, that's just the uh, rust inhibitor. I can probably still rub just a little more on here, but I think it's uh, fairly dry, and that's what we're looking for. Same thing with the uh, tuning condenser. Looks a little duller now than it did just a bit ago, but that's just the uh, rust inhibitor itself. But uh, at the time, it appears to be free of rust, which is good. We'll get this uh, lubricated up, get some grease down in here as well on the uh, ball bearings, and uh, test this. Just make sure we're good to go. Okay, guys, you saw the steps I took to uh, get the rust off of here using the Evapo rust. And once I got done with that step, of course, um, you, you guys saw about four or five cycles there in the ultrasonic cleaner. And then uh, back to another uh, cold water flushing of the entire tuning condenser. Dried it really well. And then I spritz on some of the uh, Piclex 20 product and air dried the uh, tuning condenser with the product on there to create the uh, rust inhibitor. And of course all the hardware was off at that time. You guys can see here I've got everything uh, remounted. I've got my uh, dial cord uh, back on and it's uh, really tracking good here. So um, no issues there. Got all the uh, mica cleaned up really well and got it back in place. So um, the uh, patterns here are just, uh, you know, a few turns from being uh, completely uh, tight. So we'll have to do a complete realignment. And you can see the new uh, lead dressings here. And uh, you can see here I've got the uh, plates open. So we should have the least amount of capacitance, and that's the case here at 21 picofarads. And as we close the uh, tuning condenser, 
just north of uh, 400 picofarads. I've already checked too and no shorts. I appreciate Ron C reaching out to me and uh, said he cleaned a uh, tuning condenser with some evapo rust and uh, ended up with a, uh, a short afterwards. That's uh, fortunate here, everything looks good. I took time to uh, use the uh, LaBelle's product. You guys have seen me use it before. So, um, the uh, gear oil is what I used in the uh, various locations, just a uh, couple drops. This stuff works really, really great, and the applicator is uh, perfect for these hard to get to locations. And then uh, packed the uh, bearings with the uh, same product here, LaBelle, with the grease there, the 206. Here's a uh, look at a drawing I did too, just for my notes. So in my case, you can see that was the uh, location of the gamut here. So the uh, stator is tied to the rotor at this point, and then you've got this little padder here, or trimmer, right here on top to make some fine-tune adjustments here to the oscillator. And our new green lead that I have on goes over to the uh, grid of the 6A8G. And then you'll see down here at the bottom, I've got a few things uh, called out as well, uh, where the rotor uh, connects, the stator, uh, for both sections here, the oscillator section and the antenna section itself. Oh, one other thing too to mention. I think I have uh, a replacement transformer. I've already tested it and uh, voltages are good. and. I just don't know what the uh, current rating is, but it's the same exact form factor as the uh, transformer that came out. So uh, just based on the density of the uh, core, um, I would guess that the uh, milliamp rating for the B plus is fairly close. This came out of an airline radio also, but it is a different uh, model transformer. I couldn't find any documentation on it. So 10460, if anybody has the documentation on the B plus milliamp reading and or the 6.3 or 5 volt windings, uh, please share those with me. I want to start working on the uh, IF uh, filters. I'll probably go ahead and take these out, even though i got plenty of lead length here. Maybe just redress these. Undecided. Um, and the reason I'm thinking about doing so is because this needs to be cleaned up anyway where this is all taped up, so I may just go ahead and take uh, the IF uh, filters out and uh, just redress everything there as well. Thanks again for watching, folks. Take care.